Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the Murdoch DeFi YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be doing uh, a pretty big deep dive on WarFi. I've um, been recently talking back and forth with the team and full transparency, they are giving me one of these war bots that we're gonna be talking about for covering the project in the video today. So I just wanted to put that out there. So there's no confusion or, or anything like that. Um, but before we jump into WarFi and we're gonna talk all about their, their war bots and uh, if I think that they're a good idea, and I think I have kind of a unique insight because um, I've been doing something similar, and we'll get in exactly into that here in a second. But before we jump into that, um, we are going to pull the winder from the last video. So if you haven't been paying attention, every video that I've done, I've been doing a $50 BUSD giveaway. So um, in the last video that we put out last week, uh, we had a bunch of people leave comments. Um, some left it with their wallet address. So uh, if you see people in this video leaving their wallet address, that is because they're entering for that chance to win uh, in the next video, right? So if you're watching this video right now, please make sure to leave a comment and uh, include your MetaMask wallet, your OX wallet. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then that's going to enter you into the giveaway for um, the next video, right? So what we do here is we just take the link from this YouTube video. Let me go over this handy dandy tool here. We're gonna filter duplicate users and I want to filter comments based on OX to make sure we're only pulling the ones with people's wallet address. Uh, six is nine. We're gonna go ahead and generate these comments real quick. So amount of unique comments. So you have a one in 52 chance to win. We're gonna go ahead and start this right now. And uh, JL7UB, you won. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send that over to you right now. Let me go ahead and do that. Send it. I've recently had an issue with my Ledger wallet. Um, and it's been stuck like rebooting every day uh, or like for the past couple hours. Um, and I've reached out to support um, and they've kind of just given me uh, 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 the answer of that. Oh, well, yeah, it could take a couple hours and don't worry, your funds are safe. But uh, but of course, I've, I've run into this before. It's just kind of annoying because then I don't have access to my main wallet, uh, which is kind of scary. But here we are. All right, guys. So let's. So I just sent that out to uh, JL7UB. And uh, congrats, man. Again, if you guys want to enter into the next one, just comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and jump into Warfi. Now, obviously, with Warfi, they have a couple of different aspects to their protocol, right? They have their soldiers here, which is essentially, um, you can you can buy one of these NFTs, they accumulate the kill token for you. The kill token, it trades within a range of, uh, I believe like a dollar to a dollar and 10, it's currently sat at about a dollar five. So it's been pretty steady there on the actual price. Um, so in that way is this portion of the, of the overall Warfi protocol, is I would say similar to what you see with Horde, right? The big difference being with Warfi is that from day one, they've started to generate external revenue, right? Which was something that Horde didn't really do right off the bat. Uh, so this is a very important component. Uh, again, the purpose of today's video is not to talk specifically about what you're looking at here with the soldiers and the army and these types of NFTs. Uh, the more the, the the purpose more so is to talk about their war bots that are currently um, in pre-sale, right? So you can go, there's a couple things we can we can talk about, uh, but there's a couple ways to go and get whitelisted to be able to purchase one of these war bots. And since they've partnered up with a company called tradingbots.me, if you, if you are aware of Shiny Jackal and those two guys that have been running these, um, these like leveraged trading bots and centralized exchanges for people, um, they have been for me for, for quite some time now. So I initially connected with them 
back before we, they really got big, I believe in the beginning of June. Uh, I think June 12th was when we had our uh, my bots online and were actively trading. Um, the unfortunate downside to them is actually that I had to, since, since these guys use leverage trading and I'm here in the United States, um, I didn't have access to do leverage trading. There's a couple of different options. Uh, I went the option of going um, the route of getting an FTX account. Uh, we all know what's happened uh, over the past couple of days and, and everything that's been brought to light regarding FTX. Um, me personally, I had about $30,000 that I was using to, um, to fund these trading bots that is currently locked up on there, right? So, I mean, essentially, I've just kind of kissed that money goodbye, but that's not to the fault of Shiny Jackal or the TradingBots.me people uh, because what they were doing was performing extremely well, right? That it has been for me, uh, every one of those bots that trades or that the positions that I had open um, using those bots, they, they never um, had like a, a bad trade or anything like that. Um, I think I made close to $5,000 in the time that or since like June up until just recently. Um, and I didn't put all that capital in at once. I believe I started with, I think I think I started with maybe 10K and then as time progressed and I felt more comfortable, I, I continued to increase my position. Now, had I had not gone the FTX route and went the Bybit route, then I would still have these bots up and running and it wouldn't make sense for me to make this video about war bots, obviously, right? Um... But since that's no longer an option, um, I'm looking for potentially a way where I could still take advantage of the trading bots, but not have to worry about managing it on my own. And that's kind of where these Warfi Warbots come into play because they've partnered with the same guys that have been running those bots for me for months and months and months, right? So I have kind of a unique insight onto how these bots work. Um, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So essentially, if you wanted to, uh, well, you can do two things, right? You can either buy one of these war bots to get access to the shiny jackal bots, or you could do it on your own. Uh, but there are certain fees that you incur when doing it on your own, right? So they charge, they charge a kind of like a management fee uh, for. Well, let's see. I have the the flyer pulled up here, right? So if you wanted to get started, and let's just say. Let's just use a round number of $1,000 of startup capital because that's how much these Warbot NFTs are going to be or are. Oh, this is what I want. So if you're starting with anything less than $2,500 in capital, you're looking at a $150 one-time setup fee and um, a $25 monthly maintenance uh, fee to keep the bots running. They come in to make changes to them when they need, when they see fit. If certain things are happening within the market, they may want to make changes, trade different pairs, things like that, right? And it's very easy. Um, however, like I said, there these there's these fees involved, and once you start getting into to big numbers, right, like these fees become increasingly more money. Um, so you're looking at like if you're if we're saying starting with. Um, Starting with $1,000 of capital, let's just say you want these bots to run for a year. You're looking at about 18% of your initial investment of that $1,000 that you have to recoup right away to be in profits, right? To, to pay for the year and that one-time setup fee. Um, so pretty interesting to, to keep in mind there. And we'll talk about how that differentiates from Warbots NFT. Um so it's a little bit cheaper on that front and you don't have to worry about managing it, it, it yourself or, or anything. Um, but in the same sentence, you don't have full control over your funds like you would if you were using one of the tradingbots.me platforms, right? So what do these bots do or how are they, what kind of strategies are they doing or using for these bots? Um, so essentially they pick a couple different pairs um, and they base it off of um, you know, risk tolerance and things like that but they have a couple sets of bots. Um, there is typically a short and a long bot on the same pair. Your short bot is essentially like a leverage short bot to effectively hedge your position. And then your long bot is a mixed strategy of Martingale and DCA. So 
If you're not sure what Martingale is, that essentially means you're doubling your losing bets until you win. So let's just say in gambling, if you bet $10 on the first bet and then win, you then set that $10 aside and bet another $10, right? But if you lose that $10 first bet, you would then wager $20 on the next bet, right? So essentially you're, you're increasing your position um, and kind of doubling down as that short position or long position um, continues to go down, right? So that way, you know, back up on the way up, uh, it becomes pretty profitable that way. These guys are typically using, uh, as you can see here, 20X leverage um, in all of their strategies. And uh, that, that's why it makes it sometimes challenging for uh, those of us that are in the United States. Uh, if you don't want to go the route of having to use a VPN and, and do all this other stuff, um, and then they also use a like a third party software that uses the API from whatever from whatever uh, centralized exchange that you have funds on called three commas. And then you also have to pay for that three commas account, which is, I believe I can't remember exactly um, how much that is. Yeah, so you have to play the pro plan for the three comma subscription fee. And I believe it's like $50 or $100 a month or something like that, right? So that even, I mean, that 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 eats into your profits even more if we're talking about like the overall amount of money that you're gonna be able to make. So that is a brief overview of the actual trading bots that the Warbot NFT is going to be using. It gives you access to this um, in a more passive way. So you don't have to worry about doing any of this stuff yourself. You don't have to ring, worry about incurring any of these fees yourself. Um, but there are some specific parameters to these Warbot NFTs, which I want to talk to you guys about, right? So uh, Warbot NFT, we'll go through this kind of briefly. I hate to just be reading stuff off the screen. Uh, but only a thousand NFTs. Uh, having a, a smaller pool of investors means greater returns for each holder. Awesome. There's no rarity levels. Everybody's getting the same NFT. Uh, average monthly returns uh, between 9 and 12%. Now, I, I would say... I would say it really just depends on the market. Um, and obviously, you're going to have months where the market performs better or these bots perform better. Um, and they do, you know, one thing that I will say is that these bots perform really well when there's big swings on uh, in the market, especially in Bitcoin, where, you know, you have uh, the price action from a couple of days ago where it, it came down, then it pumped back up and then it came down again. Like those bots are printing during that time. Um, and I can even be able to, let me see if I can pull that up. I can pull up my old ones real quick. So here's a, a screenshot of some of the, the trades that happened before I shut all the bots down and had to stop everything because of FTX, right? So we had big market swings. Uh, you can see here that some of these positions, right? Like some of these positions, this, la this, this, um, let's see, was this a, not sure if this was a long or short, but this position was open for 15 days. This position was open for 17 days, right? So like the, the this is kind of like that Martingale strategy in effect right here, right? So every, uh, you know, every day that the, the price kept going down, right? It was doubling down, increasing our position size, allocating more funds to that position. Uh, and then once it flipped the other way, we were able to uh, take 3% profits, which is great. Now, obviously, this is over 17 days, or yeah, 17 days. This one's over 15 days. So those positions were negative for some time, but that's how this, that's how these these uh, trading bots work, right? So hope you understand that. Uh, but this is just kind of a glimpse of what that looks like. <clears throat> so moving on, uh, like I said, average monthly returns, 9 to 12%. That's going to vary, um, but they perform really well when the market is... Uh, is making big swings, right? So this project is separate to the Warfi Soldier NFT, which would be this one that I've talked about in a couple other previous videos, um, and the play to earn game, but will benefit from the ecosystem as a whole. So the funds raised from the Warbot will be used to invest in the trading bots and pay its holders on a profit share system of the company, including an external revenue system. So you own a percentage of the company by holding on to one of these war bots. So that's pretty cool. Average returns will be nine to 12% in a bear market with greater potential returns in better market conditions. Um, I'm not sure that I would agree that. I think that, I think that um, 
you know, well, I would say that they they perform less good in a in a in a sideways market. So, I mean, I guess bear market or bull market, um, big swings, they're doing pretty good uh, regardless, right? Payouts will be automatically airdropped to Warbot NFT holders directly into their wallets on a monthly basis. So they're doing payouts monthly. Um, and I know that I've talked about Dauntless briefly, briefly on the, the channel here. And we're getting ready to launch that pretty soon. We're just kind of finalizing some things. Um, but we're going to be doing payouts on a weekly basis. Um, but I don't really think that that's a big deterrent um, for people, right? Uh, these payouts will be made in BUSD and you will have the option to compound those payouts if you choose to do so. So if, investment distribution, right? So if you put in, if you buy one of these Warbot NFTs that are currently $1,000, 85% of that is going directly to the trading bots, 10% goes to the company treasury, and then 5% goes to buy and manage the bots, right? So obviously, uh, war, uh, like Warbots or WarFi, is partnering up with trading bots on me, but they're still, uh, they still have to be paid, right? Uh, profits and distribution. So whenever the bots make profit, you're getting 90% of that going back into to the holders and then 10% goes into the treasury. So holders will also have the option to either take their profits or compound them at any ratio they wish. For example, 40% compounding, 50% to profit taking. Now we're on the... I would say conversely on the, on the Dauntless side of things, we're taking a little bit of a different approach and manually like uh, automatically compounding the majority of those profits um, because at least for us, that's what makes the most sense, right? Um, how do you get a Warbot? So whitelist can be purchased. Um, $1,000 BUSD priority for every batch released in a private pre-sale uh, over um, or private per sale over 48 hours. Remaining Warbots go to public sale if sold out, no sell to the public. Uh, so to get whitelisted, there are two steps. You have to buy $1,000 worth of soldiers or one K9 unit, uh, or you can open the ticket with the transaction halves um, with proof uh, in their Discord, right? So if you've come in, come in here like I have and invested some money in here already and it equals $1,000, then you can go ahead and um, be able to send them your wallet in their Discord, and then they'll get you whitelisted so that you have a chance to grab one of these uh, Warbot NFTs, right? Um, now, I know that they just recently sold out of their like phase two, so their next release will be coming later on this week, most likely they said Friday or Saturday uh, UTC. Um, so if you are interested in that, definitely go jump into their discord and see if you can get whitelist for the next batch. Um, and definitely watch out for that announcement. Uh, so like, it, like it says two ways to whitelist for the Warbot. Uh, one purchase one X K nine unit or purchase 1000 kill tokens worth of soldier NFTs, which like I said, um, I've actually done so. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, but like I said, they're going to be giving me one for making this video. Um, because at the end of the day, guys, you know, this is how, if we're, if we're talking about like paid promotions and stuff like that, um, I've typically tried to stay away uh, for the last few months of doing any paid promotion. Uh, but this is something that um, I've had extensive talks with the team. Um, I do like what they're doing. I do like the fact that they are using a reputable bot that's already out there performing. There's no question of like, hey, well, what bots are you using? Can you show proof? Like we all know that, at least, at least I personally know that these trading bots exist because I've used them, right? Um, now the question is like, is the is the risk or is the, the reward of not having to pay, um, not having to pay, let's see where they at, these fees here, is that reward of not having to pay those fees worth the risk of you not having access to your own funds, right? And given everything that's happened with centralized exchanges uh, over the last few days, and I'm sure that we've only seen the beginning of that, that stuff start to unfold, you know, it's interesting to see if, if that would make the most sense, um, you know, and, and how they would, 
combat that, right? Because if they have the majority of the funds trading on centralized exchange, right, 85% of it, uh, of of all the the revenue that's generated from warbot sales, if 85% of that revenue is out trading on centralized exchanges, um, and they're not diversified, then that, that 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 could potentially get scary. I haven't asked them if they have a plan specifically for that. Um, I would imagine that they are, since they're a pretty smart team, that they would. But um, that's one question that I would like to have answered um, because I think that that's important. But like I said, you know, if you were to do this yourself, you're going to incur these fees. You're going to have to meet with the the team to get them all set up. Uh, if you're in the United States, you have to try to figure out if you want to go the route of using a VPN or or, or doing something else or becoming a resident in a different country where they have uh, leverage uh, because they only use 20x leverage with these bots. Um so I think it's I think it comes down to a very case by case basis. I think that for a lot of people, just like with with Dauntless, like a lot of people, you know, just want to buy something and and have money in their wallets on on a month to month or week to week basis. Um, and I think that that makes sense for a lot of people. But I also think that it doesn't make sense for for everybody, right? And I think that they understand that, and that's why they're act they're actually being super limited and only having. 1,000 of these actual NFTs available. Just like with Dauntless, we're only having 370, right? Because that's just the way that we want to go. We understand it's probably not for everybody, um, but it is what it is, right? So I think at the end of the day, um, you know, would I recommend uh, Warbots? I think that really just depends on your personal situation. Um, as always, um, you know, Everything in crypto and DeFi is extremely risky. Um, you know, like I said, I just lost thirty thousand dollars trading on FTX uh, with these bots. Well, granted, like I said, it's not the bots' fault; it's FTX. Um, but still, it just goes to show you that anything can happen uh, in the world of crypto and DeFi, right? So, if you do go out and purchase one of these war bots, just know that it's just like going to the casino, right? At the end of the day, you are gambling your money. And at the end of the day, you have to take responsibility for minting that NFT and putting your funds into that contract, right? At the end of the day, like that, you're the only one that can help be held responsible for putting your funds into specific projects. Um, now, uh, the reason why I decided to do this video is because I felt like I could shed a little bit of light since I had been using these trading bots for, for some time now. And hopefully you understand that and hopefully that comes across as me not just trying to show a project right because that's definitely not what i'm trying to do i'm sure it's a promotion and it is paid for uh but at the same time i only took this uh this sponsored video because i felt like i have a little bit more insight into what's going on behind the scenes uh more so than your average investor so and not only that too but i like what these guys are doing um i like I, I like the team of people behind it. I'm sure that you've heard or seen them on James Pelton's channel um, a little bit. So we might have them on for an AMA too. Um, I appreciate talking to them because they're really dead set on getting away from the the Ponzi-nomics of DeFi as a whole. And I can definitely relate to that. That's why we're putting out Dauntless. And that's why they're putting out the, uh, the Warbots. So it just made sense for me to do this video. Uh, if you have a problem with that, then don't subscribe to my channel. It's that easy, guys. Um, but if you do like the content that I put out, uh, if you would like the video, comment down below, leave your wallet address. It's going to enter you in to the next giveaway, $50 BUSD, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the post notification bell on. I think that's going to wrap up everything that I wanted to cover, specifically as it pertains to Warbots and WarFi. Uh, I will keep you guys posted. I'll probably start including the Warbot in my weekly videos when I summarize all the projects that I talk about or that I'm into uh, at the moment. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one.